So this is my uh, studio. I've been here for uh, about eight years. Uh, I've converted it out of a, an old horse stable. So it was, a, it was a two bay horse stable. We had a horse on this side and we had another horse over on that side. Uh, we now have uh, a lot of metal on this side and a lot of machinery on the other side. My practice obviously involves a, um, a fairly broad palette of materials. So I've got a lot of, uh, of, of material stock you know, I draw from these these elements and then, you know, obviously make the work here and then things that aren't working, they just get basically, uh, this is the pile of stuff that didn't go into the sculpture that sits under the table. I'll come into this space on a, on a weekend uh, or, you know, for a, for a period of time, maybe for a week or so, and I'll, and I'll basically work directly with my material in some way. So I'll, you know, I'll have, I'll have looked at these, uh, I'll have looked at still life paintings or I'll have looked at, uh, you know different images that I've collected and I'll think right what I really want to do is I want to work with uh, a certain type of material or create a certain a certain element that, that I haven't worked with before. In 2012 I was awarded uh, a Helen Lemprier scholarship and I was awarded that uh, as a mid-career artist. The, the the work that I, uh, I made from that uh, was Tet to Tet being awarded the the, uh, the the scholarship at that point in my in my career was um, the impetus for doing quite a number of things. Uh, it gave me the financial support to travel. Um, traveling for me, I think, and for a lot of artists, is very inspirational to get out and, and be immersed in a in a in different societies or different different places and different museums. I did some work on my studio. I sort of uh, I extended the the exterior of the of the building to to. Um, to allow me to, 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 to scale up in some of the works. Um, also an important part of, 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 uh, of travelling and, and, and uh, enjoying spaces is enjoying the people that, that are there as well. So I, um, you know, I caught up with quite a few different artists while, while I was overseas and uh, you know, the dialogue that you have with artists, uh, you know, particularly when they're in, in their space and you're, you're visiting that space is, is, uh, is really lovely. So you can have these these great interactions with, uh, with people who, who are like-minded. Now that, this is the piece that I made uh, with uh, the Helen Lemprea scholarship, the one which I was awarded the, the scholarship for. Uh, for me, it's, it, it's a significant piece and, and it's one I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to have um, in the artist's collection at this point because it's, um, I'm really, I really am enjoying this, uh, this work. It's, it's one where I first started to use this, this sort of highly decorative element within the, within the pieces. So here I was exploring, um, as well as sort of Celtic design, I was exploring uh, in traditional ironwork and, and, and that sort of almost decorative work that, that, that used to be um, formed and fashioned. So taking this sort of pattern work and making this highly decorative object and then placing it in amongst what is quite an abstract collection of, of, of shapes and, and, and materials. You know, you can, you can really come up close to this work and you can actually, you know, be involved in the piece in itself because you can sort of almost, it's got the sort of centre core that you can, you can sort of walk into in some ways, but, but also taking it, you know, from outside. So this, uh, this yellow work is, um, it's called Between the Lines and, um, for me, it's a, it's a transitional work. It, 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 it could almost be two different works in, in, in one. You've got this very blocked out uh, shape in, in, the, in, the, in the one element or on the one side of the work, and then you, it sort of merges into this sort of table uh, surface and, and, and chair-like surface over here. This work is, is called Caravella. There are no horizontal or no vertical lines within this work at all. It all works on basically tilting, tilting elements off, offline. But with abstract works, each viewpoint is, is a very different um, uh, is a very different combination of, of shapes and works. Look, uh, this is this is a very recent. Um, very recent work. It's um, it's called Red Trumpet, Red Table, and for me this was a it's a bit of a, a culmination on that on that still life 
the theme that I've, I've, I've been working on. This is this has four legs. It's got the very decorative, the very decorative legs that uh, that you would see in, in, in a lot of um, still life work. And the I've sort of included these sort of these swirls of, of, of ribbons of steel, if you like, and there that's kind of playing on the idea of fabric and and that uh, that it's quite a, quite a fluid um, quite a fluid element. Um, Trying to manufacture some of those can be res reasonably tricky. Steel isn't usually that fluid; doesn't really like being, uh, doesn't really like flying around light fabrics. So, trying to get them to, to attain that can be um, can be pretty interesting. It, it had had a lot of uh, physical response from from people who were in the exhibition, which is great. It's um, it's quite nice sometimes as an artist to go and sit near your work, but not not too near, and um, actually listen to what people are saying about your work. You know. And the work itself is called middle ground. And so the middle ground basically being, um, you know, what's happening underneath and, and what's happening above. A lot less happening above, but um, it's trying to, again, just sort of gain that, gain that balance of, um, of, of elements within the, within the work. I mean, if you look at the, we have this sort of bottle, uh, you know, the neck of the bottle here, if I didn't have something at the end here, um, the work, although it's a very small element, seems insignificant. It's actually a fairly big part of, of actually making this work as a, as a balanced object. You still need to, to make it work as a larger sculpture, and that's really important. You can't just, as I said, take this and just expand it up. You've actually got to recreate a whole new work with the same intent that you've got in, this, in the smaller piece. A shape like this, works really well, flows really easily in this, in this scale. When we take it to a larger work, um, that's not necessarily, not necessarily the case. It's, uh, you need to, to, to reinterpret uh, movement and how shapes talk to other shapes and, and, and how these elements interact with each other. This work we've got here is, is the end result of, um, uh, of coming from the market to make a, a full-size work. It's going to be installed down at Tamarama uh, on a beautiful grass plinth. It should look, uh, it, it should stand out, stand out really nicely there. I think it's, um, it's a, a great um, spot to be installed in. Got up nice and early this morning and uh, I drove the work up from Murrumbateman to uh, to Bondi. Uh, an early start, but uh, I mean, hopefully an early finish. So we dig a few footing holes to uh, put the the work into. So it's got some concrete footings to sit in. Uh, and then it'll be a, um, a nice safe work for, for people to enjoy too. So uh, this is part of the engineering of, of putting a work into a public, into a public space. Uh, so we're going to pick the sculpture up, pour some concrete and then lower it down into those, uh, into those concrete footings. So it should, be, uh, it should be pretty good. Hopefully it won't take too long and uh, hopefully uh, it doesn't get any hotter. So. I think the installation day is probably the highlight of, of any artist putting their work into this exhibition. I think. You know, I've, I see my own work and what's happened to it over, you know, over the, the, the last period of time of working. So. I, 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 you know, I hope that other people have also had a chance to see that and, and to enjoy watching early work that I've made and then watching what happens to it over, over a period of time.